All right, peeps, this is Andrew Kadoban, your friendly neighborhood um, computer technician, bringing you some more tech talk, tech news, and so on. Today, I'm going to discuss the Facebook timeline, and I'm going to begin by saying that a lot of people hate timeline. They really do. They don't really like it. If you go all over the internet and you just type Facebook timeline haters and so on, you know, if you see that people hate timeline, you just put timeline here, and you'll see a lot of people say remove timeline community, I hate farm timeline, and so on. So basically, I just want to show you all today how you could work around timeline and how you could get a different view using what you call a user agent. And how do we do this? But before I show you how to do it, I'm going to just show you that I have already installed it on my machine and I'm going to show you how the feature works. The user agent basically is an add on that you could install on your browser, like for example, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, um, Safari, and so on, uh, Internet Explorer. Right, so for example, my tools menu, I have my default user agent. Yes, if I select on Internet Explorer 7, because 7 does not support the functionalities of Timeline, and I just refresh my browser, you would see how I actually reverted to the old Timeline system that I had and so on. Right, it's that straightforward. Okay, let me just remove this post here. Right, cool. Right, and if I go to Internet Explorer, for example, Right, and I go to my Facebook page, you will see that timeline here is installed. However, I go to tools and I use my user agent string here and I select a lower version like Vista 7 again that doesn't support timeline functionalities. Right, and I refresh my browser, you would notice that it also has changed. The thing with Internet Explorer, for example, you see this big white space here, so basically it doesn't work well with Internet Explorer, but I'll tell you something, it doesn't work well with none of the Explorer. You'll have to install a program called the Facebook Purity. So I'm going to show you all that just now. So for example, if I go to a friend of mine's school, Alana, and she would have to install this program in order for to, to view me as in the old Facebook world, she wouldn't see me as timeline. So if I click Alana, for example, you'll see how her how count looks almost the way how it was before but if i was to take off my user agent and go back to my default agent and i refresh the page you're going to see her back on timeline and i too will be back on timeline too as well all right so let's get into the technical details how do we do this all right same thing here with google chrome well google chrome is a lot harder to install so i will probably talk about that in a little bit all right, so you go to this website here, and this website here is called Facebook Purifier, and here you will get all the script files and so on, like for example for Firefox, and once you are working in Firefox, so you first install the agent switcher, then you install the purification extension, it does go through the, um, the procedure of installing and so on, it is going to come up here, and then you will be able to select the default agent and so on. All right, and this is for Internet Explorer. Now, if you want to do it for Mozilla, in this case now, you have to go to the Mozilla site in order to execute that script file. All right, so you click the Mozilla um, stuff, and they're going to give you the option here for Mozilla. Let me just, just scroll back up to the top. Well, not Mozilla. I don't know why I'm saying Mozilla. Google, um, Chrome. You'll have to go to actually Chrome. All right, sorry about that. That's my bad. So you go to Chrome. This is your script file, and I'm going to show you how to put the script file in our auto exec um, batch file. And you first download your purify, purifier command to purify your, your, your Mozilla stuff. So if, you, if I click purifier, you're going to see this, this option coming up here for you to install purifier and so on. But you're going to see a green button. The only reason you're not seeing the green button here is because I already installed it right, by default. And then, then you download this file and you save it to your desktop. I'm going to show you this file just now. Right? After you do that, they're going to give you an option. And I'm going to go back to my Facebook profile here to actually a walkthrough on how you get rid of timelines. So when you click here, they're going to tell you how to get rid of timeline. And as I'm, I mean, you don't have to read it because I'm actually telling you what to do, basically. So you first install the, the purifier and then afterwards, you download that specific file to your desktop. Because what you have to do, you have to load Mozilla Firefox. So Mozilla wouldn't have the, the option like in... Um, in in well in Mozilla Fox, Firefox. I don't know why I say Mozilla. I mean Chrome would not have that option just like in Mozilla Firefox to actually uh have this user agent in here. So what you need to do actually is go to your auto exec. Um, when you download the file, 
I, when you get the file, your file will have a lot of information in it. All you need to do is to edit the file and whatever information that you see uh, that is before it, you delete it and you just keep this information in. Bear in mind that you must put uh, open and close quotation here to load the Chrome file as well as from here, right? And make sure you have the correct part where Google Chrome is set up. So when you launch Google Chrome, you don't launch this exe file, launch this file here, the batch file you would get this option opening here in Chrome and you will be able to browse your your um, well your Facebook account understand in that option that I showed you before all right like this however it is easier for you to install this feature on Firefox very simple again purify your browser then you have, you have agent this is going to come up as an add-on this is going to come up like this and you select Internet Explorer 7 and voila you just have to change the option right here okay and you see how it would revert to actually old profile now the thing about Internet Explorer now the Facebook profile don't ever work here it just don't the only thing that you could really get here basically is the user agent and as I showed you the user agent before all right um, which is here Right, and you can find this anywhere on the internet by the way select user agent, agent string and so on and I could just carry this back to Internet Explorer um, version 9 because that is what I have installed on my machine and refresh it and you're going to see my timeline now point to note timeline is going to only show well I shouldn't say only show timeline is going to show for everybody no matter what so even though if you are viewing it like this to you everybody else would see you as timeline that's the downside eh? the only way they would not see you as timeline is if you make sure that you, all your friends install the, face, the Facebook purifier and the user agent file that's the only way like how oh, I just clicked on um, Alana just now there and I was able to see her in this default view all right so any other questions you could send me an email I could explain it differently for you so this is Andrew Cadogan, your local IT technician, and I'm just showing you all a simpler way to revert to the old Facebook, which everybody likes.